So this is Auto Draw by Google. Now it's pretty cool. It's technically an experiment at this point, as you can see down here, artificial intelligent experiment by Google. But although it's an experimental phase, it works really well. So two things you need to know right off the bat. You can add text to any of these pictures. And then also there's two different types of drawing. So regular drawing is just drawing how it is. And you can select it and delete it. But this is what it's all about. This is auto draw. So pick anything that you want to draw. Um, and let's just pick a bicycle, for example. So we'll do two tires. And we'll kind of connect it. Um, put handlebars on it. This is really bad, but this is the point. And then we'll just make a seat. Look, it's already picked it up. So as you're drawing, it's using artificial intelligence to predict what you're trying to draw. So as you can see right here, there's a bicycle. Three bicycles, actually, you can choose from. So then that's it. That's the whole concept here. So you start drawing, and then it predicts the rest. And now you have this to work with. And that's it. Make it change the color of it just like that and then you can add text wherever you need so just double click and the same with the text you can drag it to make it bigger and smaller or you can double click it and change the size right here if you need it to be specific and then what it looks like so that is very simple and very cool because you don't need a lot of experience you can just kind of draw and make it really professional design. You can combine different shapes. You don't have to do just one. So you can draw something else as well. You know, whatever you need. Um, this wouldn't work for this, but you can combine stuff. Easy as that. Once you're done and you're happy with it, you'll come up top, click the three lines, and do download. So then you've got it right here. And you can either right click and save it as, or if you're on a Mac, you can just drag it and drop it. So what's something that's good to know is it says it's a PNG file, and it is, but it still has the white background on it. So just a quick fix for that. Just come in and edit. We'll do the magic selector. So if your point that you're clicking is up here, and then you drag it, the further you go, the closer it's going to get. Or the tighter, the more it's going to select. So what I mean by that is if you zoom in really far, you can see the more you do, the closer it gets. But if you go too far, it selects everything. So that's too far. So we'll come back out and we'll do right about right there. And we'll just hit delete. And then we'll do the same on the inside. We'll go until it selects all of it. And we'll just do this all the way through and inside the letters. Just like that, you have a fully functional PNG file. Uh, it's got no background, it's transparent. You can put it on shirts, you can use it as logos, whatever you need. So that is pretty cool for not using Photoshop at all.